Israel has admitted harvesting organs from the bodies of dead Palestinians during the 1990s. Well, the country's health ministry says all the organs were used for medical purposes and came from many different ethnic groups. It follows a report by a Swedish newspaper which claimed that young Palestinians had disappeared, only to be returned by the Israelis with their bodies ripped open. Now, the initial investigation was flatly denied by Israel and branded anti-Semitic. But the recent admission from Jehuda Hiss, the former head of Israel's Forensic Institute, has already been confirmed by several sources. While the Swedish journalist who wrote the article, Donald Bostrom, says a further investigation is necessary, Lannan Gissen, a former advisor to Ariel Sharon, says the reports have gone completely over the top. We already know since the Minister of Health the report, the Sigelson report, that the organ, organ harvesting was continuing going on from Israelis and, and guest workers and from tourists. So, so we already, that was already known. But we, what my article said was we have to investigate whether it happened to the Palestinians or not. And from now on it's confirmed, yes, it happened even to the Palestinians. And that is very, very serious. I had a computer list containing 133 Palestinians killed by Israelis without trial, I mean murder. And uh, out of those 133, there was 59 taken into Israel against international law and uh, uh, per we performed autopsy again against international law. What we know is they were targeted since they were wanted by the Israeli army for throwing stones or for terrorist action. That we know. That's a fact. Let's look at the facts and then at the myth. The fact is that Israel is one of the leading countries of organ transplant, but for humanitarian purposes. And the beneficiaries of organ transplant are Jews, Arab, Christians, Palestinians. That, that Israel is one of the leading countries in that. But then, of course, the myth is to take this, you know, in order to slander Israel and say, oh, you know, they were harvested without the consent of the family. Uh, I know, you know, Dr. Hiss said that, you know, in the 90s there were some cases where organs were harvested, you know, without the consent of the family, Jews, or... I don't know about that. In other words, uh, this sounds very, very, uh, uh, I would say, strange to me, because in order to harvest organs here in Israel, you have to have the consent of the family or the, the donor. Well, I think, it, it, I think in the 90s when things were not regulated, there may, may have been cases I, I assume, I'm not, I don't know, since there was no law there and this was wide open, there may have been.